Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our latest quick look. Uh, this time we are looking at Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I am Dan Webb. I'm joined by Dan Pepia. Hello, hello. Uh, this is your first kind of couchy shit. Let's have a look at this gameplay video, right? Yeah, it is. I hope I can do it justice. Yeah, yeah. right. So, yeah, welcome to the this kind to of setup that we have. Thing, right? It's almost like somebody said to me it's like Gogglebox for video games. <laughs> but it's more informative. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so you recently played through, what, eight hours? Yeah, I was, I was sat in the Square Enix offices for eight whole hours uh, in a dark room playing this. So we got a really good bite of the action. I can't talk about some of it, but I can talk about a lot of it, and that's what we're going to do today. Right, so, so we've got, what, twenty about 23, 24 minutes of... Of social... Well, it's not social. It's kind of social gameplay. So this is like... um, This isn't a hub world. In Deus Ex, there are kind of three bits. There are the missions, there are the hub worlds, and then there are these kind of like interim bits. So I was just taken out of Prague, which is a social area. It's got Jensen's apartment, and you do all that really cool character building stuff. And you drop in here, you drop in at uh, uh, this place called Gollum. Uh, now Gollum, 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 as in Lord of the Rings Gollum. Well, it's spelt Golem, as in like a, a clay beast come to life okay. in, in, in Jewish uh, mythology. But it's, yeah, Gollum is how they pronounce it in game. Okay. Uh, and yeah, it's a kind of, it's a slum area. And it's um, it's full of all these kind of weird things. Like it's, it's, the social disparity is really played on here. So the mechs, the people, what they call them in the game is clanks. So you've oh, really? got clanks versus skins, right? And like the augments, they're called clanks. Yes. Really? That's a new one. They weren't called that the first one, were no, they? No, so it's definitely that kind of... It feels very... Um, or did they use the word apartheid? Yeah, in this one they're using the word mechanical apartheid, which obviously has quite a lot of uh, real-world historical connections. Yeah, and right. Initially I was a little bit like... Mm, but they're trying to be proper on the knuckle, I think, this time. The writing team at Square Enix, credit to them. Because so they've done real well here. It's uh, it actually comes across. It's not hammy. It's not cheap. It's not offensive. I don't think. It's actually quite. It's there's a lot of there's a lot of cultural tension around right now about this kind of us versus them idea in different societies. And this taps into that and fuels it. And it makes it a very uh, a very valid game. I think in the current climate. And this is the. It's very similar to uh, Human Revolution's kind of conversational system yeah for sure where you take sides um, to persuade people day. to do stuff is there any many changes there or is it it's kind of a fancier interface yeah right they've got they've got a nice wheel now yeah um, right it'd be fucking mass effect next and yeah. be like <laughs> paragon and renegade interrupt quick hit the right shoulder yeah um, right I'd, that'd be good in this game right yeah, so, yeah just you, you, you get your blade think no no you can't yeah, do right. that uh, but yeah this time around uh, you do really feel the repercussions of your actions not for every scene like this one here it's just a you're having a chat and you can be aggressive or persuasive now, I quite like Jensen as a character I feel doing the RPG stuff as him like I can be a real sarcastic like fuck he's a really kind of yeah right he can be really condescending and like no you don't know what you're on about yeah, yeah the, the voice actor is uh, Elias Elias Tefexis. yes like he's uh, he's great we had him on the stage at MCM a few years back. Oh, really? And he's telling some good stories, but he speaks like Jensen. <laughs> so it's like... You never asked for this. He's in character. He actually said that, yeah. It's like, uh, rip as well. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, he's, he's kind of nails it for, for dryness. Yeah, that's dryness. That's the word, exactly that. Um, so yeah, that's what I've really enjoyed with this. Uh, Jensen, despite the game giving you two, sometimes three options of how to tackle something, it always still feels very Jensen. It still feels very him. Um, I'm just noticing walking past all these lights here as well. They're shaped like seraph wings, you know? It's all very... A lot of religious imagery. There's a, in there. there's a video that they shown at E3 where last year, I think it was, and it had penguin lights. <laughs> so there's loads of different... I don't know what their art team's been up to, but there's basically... Loads of different lighting things. I think they're in, they're impressed with their engine, and they should be. It's it, it does look good. It's very immersive, and the level of detail they've gone to as well. Like this environment is just, you know, when I first got in here, I've got a task, and that task is to get to where it says M7 over there. M7. Uh, M. No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's like, wow, that's Shepherd's my, there, like. That's what probably I said Mass Effect. Cause I thought it was N. <laughs> Um, but you've got multiple ways to get in there. I could have gone up top down a vent or something, but I decided to move some crates and sneak in around the back. Uh, can, can the guy not see you there? Just just like barring out. Do you know what I mean? Just throwing crates. He's like, oh, yeah, he's all right. He's just <laughs> letting off some steam. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. He's just he's doing. Maybe he's a bin man. You know, whatever. Uh, but I chose to go stealthy for uh, this are bit. Are you gonna get around there? Though? Right. This is the thing. 
I think I actually kind of cheated the system a bit here. So you see that that flashing light? That's the kind of way. So you can get through here, but maybe it's not the best way of doing it. Yeah. Uh, this game is it's it's gone to town with the multiple paths thing. So you can do anything. When you first load up the game in the tutorial, it says, "Do you want to go aggressive or do you want to go quiet?" Like the very first question you're asked. And I I, I think that's admirable. I think it says a lot about what the game's like going for. Um, it makes a statement right in that very first mission. Yeah, you can still complete the game without killing anyone. You can still without taking down anyone. There's always alternate ways to do a non yeah a non aggressive route. Yeah, uh, like even even boss fights, even boss fights, you can just go through without killing or even being spotted by bosses apparently. So that's quite cool. Well, that is because the the problem with Human Revolution was the boss fights were awful. Uh, I was a stealth player and it's like, hey, here's a tank. Take down the tank, and oh, I got shit. Well, I got a fucking tank gun. Yeah, right. I'm like Jesus, man. So yeah. Um, so I played this through doing uh, an augmented run. Like I didn't really put a lot of stock in my weapons because I wanted to try out. There are like five new abilities. Uh, I, I wanted to try those out. We'll, we'll have a separate video up for those and showcasing those specifically what they do. Yeah, later on in the week, right? Yeah. Uh, but but in the meantime, I was doing like kind of like you know upgrading myself, being Jensen, being like yeah, fucking hell, look at my extendable legs and shit. Um, Can you throw them on people? Yeah, you can. They don't notice, unfortunately. It's not that there. So I, I noticed that I wasn't going to get any of the way because of the laser grid. And so I thought, no, they can't see me from up here. So uh, as every video game with a stealth element, you find a vent, right? Yeah, right. That's, that's, there's not, you're not breaking new ground there, not really. But it is nice. The level design is done so much that you've got to look for it. Like, you, uh, the vents... I've never seen a vent that big that I could get in. <laughs> Like, probably like just grease up with a bit of butter and slide in. <laughs> but nothing where I could just go, oh, I'm going to crouch in and walk in. Go full groundskeeper willy down there. Right? Yeah, it's like, what are they trying to get through those vents that, that have to make them that big? So I can imagine it in places like New York, where the whole city is built on like a steam system underground. Yeah. But somewhere like this, this, this derelict dystopia, nah, whatever. But hey, it works for a game mechanic. Point yeah, of we view. just missed the uh, the hacking thing. The hacking thing. We'll come back to that later on. I've oh, got there's, more there's, there's more hacking. Oh, there's cool, quite cool. a lot of hacking. If you want to go stealth, you're going to have to hack through I, a lot of I stuff. I quite like the hacking in the, the last one. Are they on alert now? Uh, they're not on. Oh, I think they heard me come through somewhere. Yeah, they're searching. So there's no panic, but they are aware that something's knocking about. What, what are they aiming at? Let's find out. Oh no no! Can we go in? Go in, down. Not. So there's a search, you see the search completion counter there? Yeah. Basically when that reaches 100%, you're fine, you're free to go. Uh, they've all kind of calmed down. They knew something was about, but they didn't know it was me. Because okay. I was doing it while I was hidden. So therefore I can be seen by them, and it's still fine. I can be still trying to find so my way So what did you do? I missed what you did. I just tripped, uh, I think I was in a I room was in like, which was oh, on high alert. No, you failed the, the hack. That was it, right, my apologies, sorry, there's a lot of capture we did on this day. Yes, I, fa I failed the hack. Uh, later on we'll talk more in, in depth about the hack. Um, do, you, do you pass the next one? I pass the next one. Good, good. Which is not as embarrassing. But yeah, so I'm back behind the thing now, don't know how he's not seen me. You, you're, not, you're invisible, right? That's why he hasn't seen you. Right, yeah, that's right. Again, different, different uh, updates and uh, augments. But yeah, the glass, that's the glass augment. It's like, I didn't even play this and I'm like, don't be invisible. You're teaching me something here, Dan, that's great. Uh, my brain's fried because oh later on I went full aggressive. Fence. So I got back. And then you go into the holding cell and you find your lady. Nope, lady was earlier. Yeah, you find yeah. the lady's brother that she sent you out to find. Okay, oh, so it's her brother. Yeah. And he calls you a brother. It's not all computer. Yes. Everyone's a brother. Hey, Everyone's brother. brother. What's going on, brother? It's that kind of like... Uh, I spoke to your sister. Uh, ghost, mate. Ghost. ghost yeah. so even though I did get found, well, you didn't, something right? was up. No, it's somebody broke the system. It wasn't you. It's like, mate, mate, was it over there? Kind of thing. Uh, let's take a minute then to step back and look at that experience system. It's great. I love it. You get rewarded for everything. If you're merciful, you get rewarded. If you're lethal, you get rewarded. It's depending on how you take out different things, you, you get rewarded. The game doesn't want to punish you for playing the game in a certain way. And that's what RPGs need. Yeah, right. That's what sure. The Witcher was good for, for example, mm. right? Here is, here's more. Well, this your... is what this game's good for, right? The, the first one you could play it completely stealth, or it's like this and Dishonored, right? You can play it completely stealth or completely aggressive. You can be a real bastard. You can go in and break necks. And That's why it rewards you for everything, people. Right? It so wants you, you can, to see that stuff. Yeah, yeah for sure. So you can you can level up those paths because if, if it only gave you like points for killing, then and you didn't kill anyone, then like, you, you get halfway through and yeah. you you screwed, aren't you? Um, this is. I like it in that respect as well, because if you are doing stealth and it all goes to shit, and let's be honest, that happens quite a lot in stealth games. No, mate, not with me. <laughs> Straight through. <laughs> Aggressive stealth, TM. TM, TM, right. TM. <laughs> but if you, if you do fuck up halfway through, uh, you can instantly go back and rely on stuff. I went in with a Trank gun, which 
it's crap. This is like a trank sniper. So if I got sniffed out, it's like, oh, I can't do much with this. But then you've got your arm blades, you've got your electronic stuff, you've got your disabilitating things. You're fine, man. You're absolutely fine in those situations. So what's going on story-wise? So she I, sent you to find him, and he's like in jail. Was he in jail? Is he a smuggler? He's just he's just got some augments in him, and people don't like that. Oh shit! Because so they're all racists. Yeah, basically. Even he, though Jensen's walking around with like he, you did an ability in front of a guard earlier on, where you dashed. <laughs> it's like that's normal. Okay, so it's not like illegal for them to have augments, but people don't like them. Okay, it's it's, it's all very Wait, kind isn't of Jensen muddy. Some kind of like cop though. He's working. He's now he on the police force. He's still working for Sarah. No, not in this game. Uh, look, I'm going to try and go like as spoiler-free as possible for this run, but he's he's working for someone else. He's working for an agency that have got some sort of like indemnity against they they are they're invulnerable. So from okay, certain, okay. Certain sectors of the task force. That's all you need to say. Yeah. Um, you've still got a lot of stuff in. Oh, you see there in the alcohol. If you do alcohol mid mission, you can get pissed and restore health. Oh, really? Yeah, which is great. I spent my entirety of Prague just getting drunk. Oh, really? Just nicking does it, people's absence. Make the screen go a little bit blurry. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it makes him a real bitch to control as well. Oh really? So, yeah, you get you like sway in and swerving Imagine about, just, um, like leveling up like a tank and then just rocking into a mission and pissed up <laughs> with, with rocket launchers. Jensen's here, baby. <laughs> uh, I like the idea of like kind of doing an archer run through. So before any big gunfight, you just get smashed. Yeah, right. it's like right, Jensen's here. Um, but yeah, it does help you out. It's got a practical benefit in combat as well, which is nice. Uh, so here again, I'm going stealthy just because it's. I find it easier, frankly. I quite like the the, the bouncing from cover to cover. Mm, it's it's very intuitive as well. Um, I had this set on um, traditional FPS control settings. So there are three levels of control settings. You can go mankind divided, which is sort of built from the ground up for this game. You can go human revolution, which is exactly like the last game. You couldn't tell it apart. Like it's like you're picking up the controls for the first Deus Ex reboot game. Or you can go typical FPS, which handles like your card, your battlefield. Okay. And that's what I did, just because it's what I've been used to playing what recently. card and battlefield? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's so what I So how does this different from where you... Because if I remember rightly, left trigger or LT or LT wasn't... It wasn't aimed down sights. No. I assume that is in the That is in the card setup, yeah. So I think it's the, it's just very nice. And look at this as well. I, I, I did it a few times where I just stop and take a look around. Stop and look at the veg, mate. I fucking... I love food. Um, Jensen's getting a bit that, peckish. That doesn't really look that also appetizing. <laughs> it looks a bit like it's been there for a while. Yeah, right. It's gone a bit liquid in the middle. Um, so this isn't even a hub world. This is just this is just a mission. Like a mission takes place here. That's like all a it is. Mission world, right? Yeah. So the hub worlds themselves, there's a bit more going on and a bit more to do and a lot more side missions. Here, you're kind of being passed from one mission giver to another. All in the grand scheme, all in the aim of getting to this big guy at the end. This guy that you've been sent out to try and... This guy that we can't actually show people. We can't, yeah, we can't show. it's a spoiler and Square Enix don't want us to see that. No, Look not that yet. guy, what's he looking at? He's me, he's... This is another thing I love about this game. Look at how fucking shifty everyone is. All the, all the skins, all the non-augmented people. It's like they've been programmed with a shifty eye in them. Yeah, like, look at him. He's just looking kind of down his nose at you. Yeah, right. This is what I was saying earlier. That guy that was in prison, he, he might not have done anything wrong just for having augments, but they don't like him. And so any chance they'll get is oppressive. It's this, this Orwellian society. This, this it's a lot of that going around in video games at the moment, right? <laughs> right? It's kind of marrying it with the real world a little bit, but it's... um. It's done really nicely. It's done really authentically. It, it's, it could have been so easy to overact it, you know, yeah. to over exert how how much you could do with that that so, theme. So we're actually showing what half the mission effects have been, right? Or a, little, a small portion of it. Yeah, so this full mission, as it turns out, we after we do this playthrough, there's a little cutscene, and after that, it's a full on action bit, right? You can either kill everyone or you can stealth through it. This bit is the quote social unquote side of it. So. This is where you're supposed to gather as much information as possible to make the second part of the mission that much easier for yourself. And the more stuff you do, the more people you help out, like this beanie and glasses guy. It's not a very good fashion thing, I don't think that. I don't recommend it. But, um. That's huge, mate. That's true, mate. Looks like fashion's already gone to shit. He's wearing a, he's wearing a Matrix coat, mate. They haven't had a Matrix coat since the Matrix. <laughs> I quite like the textures of it, though. It's quite nice. But um, yeah, so you go. This guy, it's it's like every dystopian setup, right? You don't get anything for free. You want this guy's help, you're gonna have to help him out. Yeah, right. As it happens, this guy wants me to break into a storeroom and steal some drugs. So his question. Yeah, he wants you to do that. Can you just ignore him and still break into the next area? No, I think he lets you through the back. 
So oh, okay. He, he, so he gets you through. There's no way you have to help this guy. I think it's it's all kind of channeling you through. I think there are multiple ways of helping this guy. Okay. But you can't just kind of bypass the whole bit. And yeah. Get through. Oh, that makes sense. I guess. So this is the rest of this area has been me walking around, talking to people, getting a feel for the kind of zone the guy I'm trying to take down is in. Now he says, like specifically, go to the storeroom and get these drugs. I want these drugs. And so it's a good example for you. So he can sell or use. Uh, I think a bit of both. Okay. He's in the weapons market, and you know. So he like, just is. takes a bit of white powder and just has some himself, and then puts a bit of talc yeah, in, and then mixes it up, and then sells it. <laughs> yeah, he's got to test it, right? That's it. Oh, I like the uh, the interface. Yeah, the interfaces are all lovely. Um, all this stuff is really nice. I didn't have a lot of cash at the time. I thought, yeah, silencer, that's fine. Turns out I didn't have the gun for the silencer. Oh, I thought it was a silence pistol. No, it was just the silencer. Oh, so shit, man. That was expensive. <laughs> right? That's another good thing about this. Uh, I don't think any of this is final. Oh, you, you've just sold your rifle, so you're good. Yeah, it's, yeah I would have sold your sniper rifle if it wasn't that good. God, you've got a lot of stuff you picked up. Again, I was just going around Prague nicking shit. It was okay. great. It was really cool. Like, I spent a lot of time in Prague. Of the, of the eight hours I was playing, I must have spent about three and a half in the whole oh, really? world. There's a lot to see. There's really, really is a lot to see. You weren't allowed to capture that bit, right? Wasn't allowed Only to capture Gollum. that. Unfortunately okay. not, no. no. That's not a problem. That's I think a lot of it has been seen in uh, in trailers as well. I think that's been shown in streams. Yeah, I've, I've seen... I saw one bit you were looking at earlier on. I was like, we've seen that. Mm -hmm. We speak to the guy at the end of the movie. That's... That's later on this one. Oh. That's right at the end of this. Oh, really? Yeah, so this yeah. is the build up to that mission. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I didn't know that. So, so that that is the action. Home. That's the action half of this bit. Okay, so people at home, the, the, the first demo they ever showed of Deus Ex follows this mission. Yeah. So after this, effectively, by the time the game comes out, you will have seen the whole mission if you watch it. This bit first, <laughs> and then the first video second. Um. It, it, it links together nicely, and the, diff the night. What's what's really cool is, despite this being like, can I say, a hub for a mission, a mission hub. When you go into the second half of it, into the combat bit, it all changes again. The, the aesthetic of it, the layout of it, the level design, it's all very different. It's gone. Um, I hate the word. It's been used so much in video games recently, but the verticality has been improved now. Um, that's, that's the guy, the guy. We're after. That's the guy. Yeah, that's him. Turn it off. <laughs> how do you just walk into somebody else's house and just turn the telly off? Yeah, they've got, they're talking about how upset they are that their kids can't afford school. I was oh, going, really? like, nah, fuck it, you don't need to watch this, do you? Um, but there's Does a lot of others. You just walk into their house. It's, it's a fucking shipping container, isn't it? As well? <laughs> I, think that, I just think they're happy I'm not coming oh, to kill wow, them. Oh, shit, they're augments. See, they're, 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 they're repressed, the orgs, the clanks. Well, I called them orgs in the first. Oh, that was right, yeah. I, I think you still, you still hear orgs thrown about a little bit. Fucking org, mate! <laughs> Is that Back like off. fucking prawns, but now it's fucking orgs? That was from what, District 9, right? Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of that, again, it's that kind of district mentality. See, I was trying to distract this guy. Well, he was staring at you, and you thought, hey, hey, go over there. No, maybe not then, fair enough. I threw a lot of stuff. I threw a, uh, an exercise ball at someone's head, that was fun. Did they react? Did they respond? They were, just like, they were just like said, really dryly, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> what's, really? What's the point? So yeah, here's me trying to figure out exactly where this all these drugs are. There's someone getting the shakes, you know, getting withdrawal oh, shit, symptoms. Man. Some more beer I'll take. Um, a lot of that in this game. Fucking pills now. I found, uh, in the in Prague, I, I snuck behind somewhere and I found like a whole crate of beer and I was like, yeah. In Prague, yeah. That's, that's very fitting. Just sat in an alley drinking beer as Jensen. And then a, a policeman came and was like, you can't so be So that's here. what you were doing for three and a half hours, <laughs> just, just drinking, drinking beer. <laughs> wow. And looking around, um, there's a lot of stuff to see. Uh, uh, and that's only one of a few hub wells as well. So that's really, that, that promises good things. This is going to be a long, hard game. That's one thing I'll say. This game is hard. Uh, when we got into the full-on action bit after we saw the guy on the TV, um, mate, it's solid. It's rock solid. You just, you just suck down. That's what it is. You just suck. Oh, down. come on. That's not fair. <laughs> I was also trying to do very specific things for the video, but, uh, you know, whatever. Not going to make excuses. <laughs> uh, so here's me. I, I saw the guard's patrol route. I saw him jump. I saw him turn around. So I jump up. I realize that one of my drugs is uh, held back here. It's okay. been confiscated. So I'm looking around, see if there's a way in. Surely there's a way in. Why else would the games have wrapped me down here? There we go. Uh, that mission marker tells me exactly where it is. Where there's a will, there's a way, mate. That's exactly it. So that's one half of it. But then the other half, there's some more. Some more champagne, fine. Champagne crate. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Jensen should just, just give up what he's doing and just steal shit. <laughs> now, He'd make an expert thief, wouldn't he? Imagine if there's like, I don't know, what, nine bottles of champagne in there that retards like, I don't know. I guess, I guess Four, it's quite expensive. Four, five hundred dollars? Yeah, I guess it's quite expensive in this world. Just sell it, mate, and then you could just 
being asked to start your own maybe Eidos Jensen Montreal Industries. are gonna reboot Thief again but with Jensen and just call it Jensen I'd play that I'd play that well like, that's augment- basically Deus Ex though right yeah Augmented Thief yeah you may as well call it Augmented Thief I wonder what they're gonna do with Thief this bodes well for a Thief like thing do it more yeah, like but this so, but so did Human Revolution yeah that's true and then and you then see Thief what came out after that it could do with being a mix of something like Human Revolution and Dishonored like just in the right in the middle of those two, um, so yeah. Right now, I realise I can't get into the other room through my little sub, sub, subversive methods of before, so I'm gonna have to deal with this guard because I don't want to see him. I don't want him to see me jump in. How do I do that? Well, luckily, what I upgraded my wrist. What about the guy? Did you kill him in front of the guy? Will he notice? I think he's too jacked out to realise okay. anything. I think he's like, look at him twitching about. The drugs in this are, are for augments are like to do with uh, how they inject things into their orgs and like do electrical stuff. This is my electrical like taser takedown. It's non-lethal. It gives them cardiac arrest, but it's not lethal. It promises. No, somebody at the end has look, it's oh. that panic ending. Somebody's fucking... They saw me do that, but there's no guards around for them to know. Yeah, right, so they just panic in the corner. And notice how the panic ending is going up quicker than searching was earlier, because yeah. there's fewer people to have it bothered. So that's cool. Uh, this is the hacking thing. Was, this is the one I monumentally cocked up earlier on. This time, I've learnt my lesson. So all this stuff, basically that red one is going to try and track down my seed, and if it catches up to all of my points, we fail. Luckily, yeah, it, it's very similar to the last one, just with a bit of a... Just about make it there. Yeah, it's, it's similar. Just about. Yeah, like four seconds left. Yeah, that's true. Loads of time, mate. Every second counts, though, doesn't it? You, know? you only had ten. You did it with 40% <laughs> of the time left. Uh, at this point, I realised there was another way in that I could have gone through this end and probably not had to give the guy a poor cardiac oh, arrest. Fuck him, fuck but yeah, did what, it. You just left the guy out there. Yeah, whatever. I could have dragged him into the room and been a bit less obvious about it. But mate, mate, it doesn't. It's not your proper save. Right? <laughs> this, is, this is it. Yeah, this is my like kind of bombing through. Still newspaper as well. Jesus Christ, Jensen. <laughs> It's probably he's on his on the toilet with his beer later. He's got not so much to read, hasn't he? All right, we're approaching the end of the video. Um, any kind of final words? Um, I really enjoyed it. This is my favourite bit of the game. The combat was hard, like challenging hard, not like stupid hard. Yeah. But what you'd expect. It doesn't hold your hand, and it takes no prisoners. The stealth stuff and the social, and letting you figure out how you want to take on the mission. I adore that. It's great. It feels very, um, it feels very Deus Ex. It's a really crappy thing to say, but it's. It's very loyal to the first reboot of the game. How does it feel compared to that, that, that reboot? Is that much more, like, in terms of new stuff, or is it just more of the same and then some, a little bit? It's more of the same and then some. That's yeah. what it is, exactly that, yeah. More of the same and then and Jensen. And Jensen. <laughs> but yeah, folks, that's it. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we'll be doing another Dia 6 video throughout, well, some sometime in the week. Yeah, we've got another, another written bit and then another video. So uh, look so, out for yeah. those. Folks, um, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers, Tom. Thanks very much. And uh, thank you. we'll see everyone next time. Yeah, Cheers. See thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye.